major winter storm that continues to sweep through a large part of the continental U.S. this holiday weekend with freezing temperatures, strong winds, snow and ice. At least 19 weather related deaths are reported. Dangerous whiteout conditions hampered road travel on Friday from northern Iowa to Buffalo, New York. Blizzard like weather dropped drivers visibility to near zero. Travel conditions aren't much better in the air. So far today, more than 1,300 flights have been canceled nationwide. That's on top of nearly 6,000 U.S. flights canceled yesterday. Naomi Ruckham is at Newark Liberty International Airport in New Jersey with the latest. Naomi, good morning. Jeff, good morning. Many of those who tried to get out of town before the holiday are now spending Christmas Eve at airports across the country. And as the snow shifts to bitter cold, this weather system is proving it hasn't moved out quite yet. From coast to coast, Americans will get that treasured white Christmas, but it comes at a cost. In Buffalo, New York, forecasters are predicting multiple feet of snow through Sunday. Wind gusts surpassed 70 miles per hour with visibility near zero. It's complete whiteout conditions. Cars will be coming and you have to come to a complete stop. Those wild winds have left hundreds of thousands of Americans in the dark with power outages, just as record low temperatures swoop in. Denver dropped to minus 24 this week and Houston hit the teens with wind chills in the single digits. From Michigan to Kentucky and even Texas and Georgia, warming centers are now open. That cold weather is nothing to play with. Flights are taking off now, but airlines are playing catch up with crew shortages and de-icing slowing the return to normal. In Seattle, an ice storm shut down multiple runways. I think also just a little helpless. We're just not really sure what we definitely want to make the most of our holiday and so we're willing to kind of come up with alternative options but don't know what we have to work with. Those driving to Christmas are hitting speed bumps too as rain and snow turn to ice just in time for Santa's arrival. The good news, a big warm up is expected next week and at least here in New Jersey, passengers seem to be in the holiday spirit, but expect a very, very cold Christmas from every corner of the country. Dana. All right, Naomi, thank you.